and it is Adventures of the Black Nerds. Folks, the nerds welcome are back. back. The nerds are back in They're town. Back, man. What's going on? Bro, you know, folks, I'm Baron J67. I'm T Jones, and uh, it's been a few weeks, but we're here. Yeah. Yeah. And we got a lot to talk about. Hey, bro, we you know what? We didn't even prep on Xbox's release. Oh, dude. Okay. So you know what? Let's just jump with that. Okay, what do you nerds. do you know anything about the specs? Um, no. And okay. I'm glad I don't. So based based off of how it looks, how do you like the design of it? The design, I'm actually happy. I'm a little nervous though, because I believe like when they put it next to the controller. I want to say it's the exact same height if um as the Xbox One S, which isn't a problem. Okay. Um it, it's not a problem at all for me. My issue my issue is they they've already announced that they're coming out with different versions. Yeah, see that's that. that's a problem for me. But at least wait, at least give me seven months, give me eight groom, months. Of at it. least groom me. <laughs> yeah, like show me how dope it is. Make me think this is all we gonna get and all that I'm ever gonna need. Yeah, but then then lie to me. Uh-huh. You know, treat me like a stripper. I think that's the like, only, you know that's the only thing that we as console players that we know, we know there's going to be a second gen of this generation. Exactly. And we are okay with it to a, like, to an extent. So we don't to question it because if that was the case, we would say, oh, I'm going to just wait for the second one. Yeah. I'm going to just wait and for this, the next, the next and, version of it, the more, com- the, the almost complete. Cause you know, they come out with a third one. Yeah. And that's the completed one. And I would like to show you my completed one. <laughs> <laughs> like oh yeah he did it y'all I did it I he did, did it. it I had to do it my he fan was super it. loud I got to switch some things around so he I says no more <laughs> <laughs> hey hey no but but like real talk dude the part that truly frustrates me with it is and I shout out to uh shout out to Khalif over at Spawn on me hope I didn't butcher your name boss. Um, he, he brought up a good point. Like, think about how many people are about to have like hardcore mix ups during the holiday season. Mm-hmm. Like, really, like truly true errors. Like, some kid's gonna tell his mom, Hey, I want the new Xbox, I want the Scarlet. And she gonna come home with the Series X and he's gonna be miserable and she's gonna be mad. Yeah. He's gonna get in trouble. He ain't gonna be able to play the game. It's bound like, to happen, but it is, yeah. I think if you you won't run into that problem if you go to a GameStop. You know, if you run into if you go into a GameStop, they'll probably inform most of the time they should inform you. Yes. But if you go to like Walmart or Target, oh yeah, or where Best Buy, yeah. It's crunch time and they're they don't care, they just they don't, don't say yes to everything. Yep, like mm-hmm. you know, or mm-hmm. yeah. That's so, it. I I think if you take your well, hopefully you're informed and your kid, your child is informed enough to not make that mistake. True. Well, no, I don't think it'll be the child. I think it'll be the parent going shopping for the kid. I I get what I meant by that is the mistake oh, of I saying, "Hey, I want." The, oh, I got you. Yeah. But you already know you gotta, especially during the holidays with a new console pickup. We already know it's about to be noob season. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Noob season. Oh, and then I didn't look. Okay, so folks, just give you a heads up. I didn't watch um, I didn't watch the Game Awards. I'm currently going through videos now, mm-hmm. and I'm, uh, I'm editing. Actually, like, that's what I should be doing, which I will be doing after we finish this. Um, I, working. I, yeah, we're working. Like, we live in life. Uh, I just got back from Texas. My wife graduated. So, um, she got her masters and the homie. Um, yeah, the homie. Um, danger, he smashed the homie. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's old school. <laughs> uh, but but oh, thank god to Ray J. Have you have you ever heard uh Vince Staples break down to Ray J? And if it wasn't for Ray J, we wouldn't have modern television as we know it. Nah. <laughs> yeah, it's a great it's a great breakdown. I love I love when Vince Staples breaks down like reality in his own way because it makes sense and it's hard to argue. It's with. hard to take him like 
it's hard to disagree with him when he talk because it's so assertive. Yes. So I just be yes. like, you know what? You right, dog. You can have that one. Yeah, yeah that's that's usually how it goes. But you know, know what? I'll give you that one. I don't know for certain, but you seem confident. Yeah. Um. But no. But um. Back to uh. So I've just been I've been gone. Actually, my next my next venture right now. Um. I don't know if I'm a pick up a tower. I don't. I'm a. I'm probably gonna sit for a while. Um. Because the one thing they don't tell you that people don't hype up about graduating is the school loans that come along with it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> they don't they don't tell you that part they just celebrate oh, you send you on your way and then all of a sudden you get a letter from uh from Sally the government going, hi how you doing <laughs> seems like you're educated now time to pay what you owe mm-hmm. <laughs> you defer defer def- be a defer, student for, you better be defer. a student for the rest of your life take one class hey. <laughs> hey folks, are you can pull a uh are you can pull a Jesus or like how they doing get forgiven after seven years? Mm-hmm. But your credit to be shot, but hey, <laughs> hey that oh god solidify Look, folks, yourself first. Home bro. car job, then do it. Bro, Quit. hey, I don't want hey no. right, get everything solidified you ever wanted. Get that man, mm-hmm. get the dream home or at least a rental. Like, you know, do what you got to so, do and then go and screw your credit up, but get rid of that debt. Yep. Um, but don't, we're not financial advisors in any way, shape or form. So I am not please. a professional. Yeah, I'm not a professional. I just, I learned everything I know, off of books and Gary V. Gary V, man. Oh, so, okay. So what were we talking about? The Xbox. Let's stick yes, on Xbox. track. Damn, so we're, we're seven minutes yeah. in, we off track. Off track. Um, which is a record, but no, um, about to go but no. Track again. <laughs> yeah, with the with the Xbox, man, my I'm seriously, I'm excited. Uh-huh. But now I would feel real stupid to buy the Xbox Series X, and then all of a sudden, a month later, they come out with one that's a hundred dollars more that has a feature that I I feel I can't live without. Yeah, but and, you know what? You're gonna be like that regardless. Regardless, and and this is why my my day one purchasing power and decision is based on whether or not the games are there. Mm-hmm. Because think about how many games are being released. Do you know that I wouldn't even be mad if a majority of the games coming out in 2020 or next, what, in two, three weeks? Um, I wouldn't be mad if a majority of those games actually came out for, like, they all got pushed back. They I should. wouldn't even be mad. I, I, I would not be mad to be hundred percent honest with you. It only makes sense to push their shit back. The but, first hey, console but, was oh, already, the first console has been announced. Yeah. The games have begun. Yeah. Stop it. Stop production on this old and everything. system and port start getting the port and start communicating. Hey, but get, with the, but guess with the what they're gonna do though? To? Go ahead. But guess what's about to happen? And this is what scares me the most. So first off, we already some of the I did I do know a few specs actually I'm lying. So um, a couple of the specs is they're going full backwards compatibility, all the way back to Xbox. Oh, um, so then you good? Yeah. So I'm, which makes me happy. But you, I got a strong feeling what we're gonna see a lot of is remasters. Remasters. Yeah. I got a feeling the first year of the Xbox One X and the PlayStation Five. Are gonna our Xbox Series X, which is a strong weird name. They gotta come. I can't even figure out a way to shorthand it. Um, but I feel it's gonna be stuck with the dang. No, they could have called it X two. Yeah, might as well just. They should have just went. We're gonna just like Call of Duty. We're gonna go back. Yeah, Xbox, then Xbox One, Xbox, Xbox Two, Xbox Three. Just get on board with that, like. Xbox, you jumping all over the place. How you go from Xbox, Xbox 360, what? So, Xbox yeah, One. <laughs> one, uh, and then now Xbox Series X. Yeah. It's just, first off, it's a mouthful. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what she said. Um, okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I had to go there. Um, <laughs> How long I'm have you been sitting on that one? Yeah, I'm a child at heart. Mm-hmm. Um, No, but truly, 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 I... I'm afraid that they're gonna have a weak launch 
but it's going to make a bunch of money because it's a new car. Remember, they got us the first time. Folks, what you guys really need to remember, like truly, truly internalize, um, is that, um, wow, my kid just really walked in. Um, truly internalized is that Xbox One released with little to no games. What was it? Rise of um, Son of Rome. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think it was a car game. Forza. And and, uh, and then Grand Theft Auto Report. Yeah. See, listen, when, but the, this is why you can't really count. This is why you, you don't really count Xbox One. Oh, there was a Halo, wasn't it? There was a Halo that came out, right? I think so. Or no. I think four? Or no. Five? Was it Halo 5? No. Correct us in the comments. It no, wasn't Halo, Halo 5. 5. Halo 5 was after Xbox One. Um, um. Yeah, but, e- go, but even so, going. even so, I think X, where Xbox we and we always talk about this, where Xbox lost the competition with this console was the fact that Exclusive. they weren't game. It wasn't game focused. They no. came out with the Xbox with the ability to connect to your cable box with the ability. Our to show had my Fire Stick hooked yeah, up to you my see Xbox, what I'm saying? and then with the ability to connect your uh, the, the use the connect. You, mm-hmm. you did so much stuff other than play video games on that thing. True. You know what I'm saying? So I think what they need to do, or I think, I hope what they're planning on doing is starting to go back to get some exclusives out there. Because I'm not, I'm not happy with what I've heard no. so far, you know? And I know a lot of Xbox fans aren't. Um, I mean, I'm a gamer fan first yeah i'm a gamer 100 if i had to play on the xbox i would i just prefer yeah it's just it is what what it is but i Um, don't think that they they haven't done it for me yet to say like i mean i'm gonna get it regardless you know yeah like we've already discussed that yeah but it's gonna happen they haven't done anything video game wise to say hey this is why you should get a xbox x series 49 7 8 Version seven. Before we continue, give the folks a breakdown of the T Jones method of buying just about anything. My method of buying anything? Um, well, see, me the I'm, way you used to. It's kind of hard because it's it's changed. Of I, course. We I, got I, families now. Yeah, I'm you know. Guy. So yeah. At first it was just gonna get it. Like Day yeah, one, I'm but, out there. but but no, I'm talking about putting a little bit away at a time, planning it out. Oh, yes. Okay. Perfect. It's different. See, see, now this is why I said it's changed. Now, yeah. Back in the day when you were struggling, you know, you get your lunch money. We, we talk yeah. about high school days. Yeah, this is. You yeah, know, folks, pull, this is real. You pull 10 from the 25 because you get five dollars a day. You pull 10 from the 25, you put that in the shoebox, or you slide it over to the left. Yeah. Then, once you slid it over there, you just waited. And I did that with shoes. I did that with video games. I did that with consoles. I did that with any pretty much anything I needed or I wanted. And at that gotcha. point of growing up, it was a need. So, literally, to and it's funny. I do that to this day. I do that now. I give myself $10 a, a, day, a week. Ten dollars a week for vending machine money at my job. If I forget to bring a lunch, or I'm not feeling what I brought, or I was in a rush, I use that. If I don't, at the end of my week, the end of my work week, if I haven't spent any or whatever I had spent, I'll take the change, put it in a little thing for my daughter, and then I will take the dollars and put it away. All of that, actually, I use that money for this PlayStation. I bought See? that PlayStation with a one trade-in, a PlayStation 4 trade-in, and that money there. So if you just if you know, think about it. If you know that the console, if the new console is coming out, uh holiday season of next year, let's just say Black Friday yeah. around that time, November. If you just say to yourself, you know what, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna slide twenty dollars to the side. Whether it's every other week, yeah. every week, you'll be there in no time. So that and you'll and that, have enough to get everything you want. The game, an extra controller. Well, I'm not. You're probably gonna need batteries. You know, Xbox. You know what Damn. I'm saying? So. <laughs> oh, we can talk about that too, because the controller actually look like a um, look like an elite. 
I didn't really look d- deep into it, but I know it didn't look like my basic controller. Yeah, I think I, I'm not. I have no issue with that. I said the same thing, and the reason why is because the elite's controller is still fairly new. So yep. why why change it? Why change it up? Hey, shoot, we'll just give you an elite. What that kind of take, that takes the market from Scuff. That takes the market from Battle Beaver, and it keeps everything in house. And they're built sturdy. I've held one of them things. They, they're kind of. They're nicely built, but the one thing that they're going to train you in, the thing that you don't like, is they're going to have paddles and, sh- and stuff. Yeah, pedal bag. shifters. Exactly. I'm yeah. very basic with my controller mm-hmm. skills, and what trips me out, I'm actually, like, I wonder if I truly got into, because, like, one day I played Claw, yeah, and I understood. I was like, ah, yeah, this is why they do it. Mm-hmm. Like, I instantly got it, I'm- because... I was like, oh, so I'm jumping and still aiming. Yes. I don't let go of nothing. And that's why I play with a scuff. Two paddles. Yep. Um, I, this is the impact. I got this with my bonus. See, I got this with my bonus. Last year, we talked about <laughs> how, what did I do? I literally saved, like, I think I did like 10. I knew I wanted one, but I knew I wanted one. I, was gonna, I wasn't going to get one until I got my bonus, which was got in you. the month of December of last year so what did i do i took ten dollars a week and i put it in my savings or not a week ten dollars a month put it in my savings account and once my bonus came in i was free to get whatever i wanted whatever you wanted i was able to take some for my bonus and that ten dollars a month up until that point and put it to this and i got like the the grip on here. It's like the, the grip. I got the four paddles and I got the, my bad y'all. I got the, he said, I got all the fixings, all the fixings on it. So being free, this is what it did. That's what, I mean, I can afford it now, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to, yeah, just, no, there's no need to do that to yourself exactly. financially anymore. Exactly. So just, there's nothing. Wrong and it's with not responsible. That. <laughs> You're 100% right. It's not. Like we live a different life now than we Bro, used to. My, my daughter came in the room this morning and said, "Hey, the store is available at school. I need money." I said, "What? Damn, <laughs> you need money? <sighs> Bro. Like, go talk to your go talk to your mama. Leave me alone." <laughs> okay, so side note, you are gonna be a little mad at me. Uh-oh. So your audio on my end wasn't being captured for the first like ten minutes. Oh, I fixed it. Bro. But so I hope you're captured on your end. Yeah, I'm captured, so we should be all right. Okay, we're so we're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Technical difficulties on the fly. We got that was my fault for not audio checking and just jumping in. And then I talk so much that the the levels look normal. Mm-hmm. And then I like got quiet and I was like, oh, ain't no levels. Oh, where is his <laughs> levels at? <laughs> hey, where where he go? <laughs> no, nah, we good. We good. But um, hey, hey, bro, I... one match in and I've murdered like five bounties. Bro, I'm here focused, <laughs> making sure I get the record right. You over here playing, enjoying yourself. Hey, well, that's probably why the audio was messed up for the first ten minutes. I, I'm glad I looked over because we would have for sure went all the way through a whole episode uh, of you. A whole episode just audio of me just talking. Mm-hmm. If Look, you are, sound like a damn like a damn sample track. Mm-hmm. If you aren't, yeah. If you aren't watching uh, us through uh, YouTube uh, and you're listening to us through the likes of uh, Spreaker. Which is through Tone Dev Network. Shout out Tone. Uh, Tone. Your guy, Baron J67, isn't even looking in the camera. He's playing. Yes, I am. I'm here. Use a you a young guy. He is enjoying himself in the world of destiny while I am focused. Yes. <laughs> focused on having a good conversation about uh Xbox the Xbox. 7. Hey, no, I'm really, ex- I'm seriously excited for it, bro. I'm calling I just, it the version seven. I'm not mm. calling it version or Scarlet zero nine four four four. I just, and the fact that they already know we're coming out with three versions because mm-hmm. you got the Series X, you got Scarlet, and then I forgot the name of the last one. I know I'm not crazy. At that There's point, three. it might have, it better, it better just be a computer. Like I want to see Windows what? interface. Mm-hmm. Now, there. Okay, if they have a way to cross over your PC Game Pass and console Game Pass, I will have no complaints. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, they should. They've been pushing the whole thing, the Game Pass thing, because of what you can do with it. Yeah, and, and which it's Microsoft. I'm gonna be, it's Microsoft. I'm gonna be. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be real with you. I think Game Pass is the saving grace of the Xbox console. Yeah. If it was not for Game Pass, bro, mm-hmm. like all jo- all jokes aside, this generation would have been straight trash. I still feel we got played um as a as a console generation. Um well, like I hun- yeah, 100% yeah. by Xbox One. Yeah. Um by Microsoft. I and my, let me let me go down the list. This, this is actually what I started with when I first talked about how we got played as uh with the Xbox. Yeah. So not only did you have a week uh a week launch because I would have did better to keep my Xbox 360, which I did have the Star Wars edition, which I saved pennies for. Mm-hmm. Um, with the B2, uh, you still have that? Uh, no, I traded that in. Uh, like a dumb dumb yeah. with the C3PO controller and the R2D2 mm-hmm. unit. Yeah. Oh man, I saved up pennies. I mean, they would let me at GameStop go. Yeah. Oh, bro, I was the happiest thing on earth. Yeah. And then of course I had to have that Nunu, and that Nunu was trash. No, no. Like, yeah, I had to get the new new, but no, like real talk, you got to think games that were promised to come out within the first couple months of the game, the console release, Crackdown Three, that game didn't come out until this this year, and, uh, and that, it was trash. Crackdown still better than Watch Dogs. Boo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will agree with you there. The original two Watch Dogs, which I'm still, I'm actually excited for Watch Dog Legion. Um, Boom. I'm a little, I'm, I'm excited because you know me, I like that whole team building, stat raising. Yeah, yeah. I'm the RPG gamer. That's literally what I do. So you're telling me I'm gonna be able, be able to build up a team of anybody? I got an old lady who's an assassin. Like, I'm, that was, that was enough to sell me. And then if they're smart, they'll put the game out at forty nine ninety nine just off mm-hmm. the rip. I mean, They've done it before. Ubisoft stays doing it. Yeah. And I think I'm happy they know they oversaturate their stuff. Just like uh they did it with um the last Far Cry. They put it out for what was it, 40 bucks? Yeah, they, off the rip. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. like just boom. F- Far Cry. You know, I haven't even played a Far Cry. I've watched people my, play it. My I, brother, yeah, I watch people I play. It. My brother Twitch, loves it. Man, when I want to yeah. check out a game, I go watch somebody play that. Ish, oh yeah, you know, to the man, I was I was feeling like playing Fallout, but I didn't have my save on on the PlayStation Cloud, and I was too lazy to hook up my hard drive. So what do I do? Fire it up. Yeet. Me and my son sitting there watching Fallout Four. Yeah, you know, and I think I want to get to that point with my kids mm. is watching. But see, my problem is I got so much stuff. Like, okay, so there's a bunch of stuff on Netflix. Netflix has been stepping their game up. They're still too expensive in comparison to what's out there, but I get I get their price point. They have mm-hmm. to have that price point in order to stay alive. I got it. So but... I, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. My bad. I was about to no, like, they really do have to have that price point. Uh-huh. Or they could get stricter with the whole people sharing accounts thing. It's, it's one or two options. Uh-huh. But you're going to lose people along the way. Um, And then you got Disney out here, because first off, Disney don't need the money. So they out here shitting on you by charging. Dude, they just pulled a blue magic. They pulled an American gangster. They said, look, I'm going to bring better product and sell it on the street for less. Mm-hmm. And you, give you, you and have, then give you, you new it? shit. Do yeah, of course. It? Like, Come on, man. I don't have it yet. Bro, you missing out. I was watching uh, Wizards of Waverly Place. Nick, I'm trying to find out which wizard gets the magic. Like... I'm yeah. telling you, that's my shit. That's messed up, man. Come on, man. Go ahead and shoot me over that. Go ahead and shoot me over the log in, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Mm-mm. Damn. Uh, hey, I think my internet went out. Where you at? <laughs> hey, Trav. Look. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Nah. Um, Nick. I hey, pers- no. I personally did not get it because um, I, what happened? Uh, I was waiting for something to fall off. So either either I'm gonna get rid of Hulu or I'm gonna get rid of well, I'm either I'm gonna get peep, rid of Hulu to get it. Peep game. What's up? You just spend twelve dollars and you get Hulu and ESPN plus. Yeah. It's twelve dollars and you yeah. get all of it. Yeah. So yeah. I can cancel my Hulu. Uh I think I you still keep Hulu? your account. You no, you do it through Disney. I don't know how it would work for for people who already enrolled, yeah. but the way I did it, I just signed up through Disney Plus, 
and it gave me ESPN. Uh, it gave me all the fixings. Mm. Is it is it gonna stay that price forever? Probably not. It, but I think this. See, the cool thing is about Disney. If they were smart, they ain't got to change the price. Right. They. It's not a matter of making extra money for them. It shouldn't be. At this point, it should just be killing off all other markets. I shall die. But yeah, I, you know, as then, you say that, then after they understand. kill all the other. Oh, go ahead. No, I was about to say, as you say that, I understand why Netflix have been doing what they're doing now. Just as you say. Yeah. Because yeah. everything, most of the stuff that they push on there is Netflix owned stuff. Like, yep. I, like I, I haven't seen The Irishman yet. Heard it was good. Yeah. Um, and then Ryan Reynolds just came out with a movie I got to watch. It Six Underground or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I heard that was a good. I heard, was it Michael Bay who did it? Like, they did yes, it as a, yeah, a yeah. joke. Yeah. yeah. Cause you know, there's all those Michael Bay jokes, like, oh, if you want to blow something up, call Michael. Yeah. Um, but um, but nah, real talk. Like, I like I'm what Netflix waiting. is doing. When they're gonna announce, you know, when I'm gonna see Optimus Prime again, like I'm tired of Bumblebee, Ooh. dog. I'm tired of Bumblebee. Oh well, you you knew my issue with the whole Bumblebee movie. The trailer made it seem like it was some weird love story between old girl and the robot. Yeah, I'm good. It seems suspect. <laughs> I was I was like, this is awkward. <laughs> He said, mm, nah, I'm not into like, that. Like, I rarely look at a trailer and be like, oh, I'm just not going to watch that movie. Yeah. That one, it rubbed me the wrong way. I was like, they want kids to go see that? What is this? <laughs> it, it felt like I was watching um, uh, watching the uh, the Iron Giant, uh-huh. except they were trying to sleep with each other. Oh, yeah, that's bad. I'm good. Yeah, I mean- that's... Like that's the vibe I got from it. it was super strange to me. I'm just saying, like, listen, I was, the, the transform the transform series were great was a great series. When they started when I, they broke off and did like the Bumblebee movie shit, I was kinda like, uh I wanna I, see you know, you, get beat up again. Yeah. That's what I wanna say. <laughs> see shit like that, but Hey um, no, but what got me, what really threw me off was um I wish Shia LaBeouf would go back. Yeah, I think his character in that series, Sam Witwicky. I think, I think that was so dope. Shia LaBeouf as an actor, period, is oh yeah, by far one of the greatest. He's top tier, man. I don't understand it. I don't understand. Dude, I haven't seen none of his like new movies that he directly directed, mm-hmm. yeah, like um, Honey Boy, or uh, there was another one that. he did. Yeah, I want to see. I didn't realize it was about his life, and I do trailer reactions, but I clearly didn't do that trailer. Yeah. But um, I like I like when when movies take a chance, um, because a lot of things are very. And it was funny because Anthony Mackie, um, uh, uh, who does he play? Um, he's the new Captain America, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, he he said it best. He was like, "Movies have really gotten boring." Yeah. It, it, it's dramatically changed to something really boring and you can almost tell to a T what's about to happen. Bro. So I like when movies take a chance. Like there was a movie actually that he did. I ended up not liking it as much as I thought I would because it wasn't what I thought it was going to be, but they took a chance and it was something special. Um, I, I think it was called IO. Mm, okay. it, was yeah, called no. IO? it was a Netflix. It, it was a Netflix original. They, they pushed, Basically, Earth was ending. I thought it was going to be on some sci-fi stuff, but it turned out to be a love story. No, well, yeah, uh, but it wasn't bad. It just wasn't what I expected. I went in expecting, you know, it, if you want lasagna, you want lasagna, not pizza. Like yeah. it, it just, it is what it is. That was pretty good. That was a good one. I know Garfield. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. I'm firing on all cylinders. <laughs> Quadruple tasking. I see. Yeah, man, look at that. Yeah, Keep my own horn. I mean, I mean, back. I, I mean, uh, well, we were talking about Xbox, but uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Now, back. Well, the whole my whole worry with the Xbox. Long story short, is you're already off to a shaky start for me by um, Im- admitting you're doing multiple console consoles. Lie to me. Yeah, um. Uh, so. You, yeah, lie to me. So you're doing multiple consoles. Okay, check. That's one thing that makes me nervous. Um, then 
all these major games that I've been waiting for that could easily be pushed back to the new consoles and re revamped are coming out before the new console. So here it is. My backlog is already to the moon. Um, but thank God for the backwards compatibility. So let me jump off that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm worried. I want new games. I, don't give me a new console with old games. I don't want to be playing Grand Theft Auto V on the Xbox Series X. Just being honest. You are, though. Like, I know it's going <laughs> to That was a, That was an example you should have said. Dead, Red Dead's going to be just as big. All these games, like, nah. there's going to be just as big. They just announced another thing for Grand Theft Auto Online. Yeah. Which is hey, bro, really and that's what scares me is that the games as a service, because Grand Theft Auto is, I, I think people look at them to be the true, like, hey, if they can do it, we can all do it. When in actuality, I think they're the exception to the rule. Mm-hmm. Um, but what I what scares me about it all just is the fact that where where's the creativity? Where's the it goes out the water, window? All it goes these, out the window. You just yeah. talked about how like movies are becoming predictable. Video games yeah. are predictable yeah. as hell. Like there's no point in playing some of these games because we've seen it all before. It's all been seen. Like there's nothing not there, you can't tell me one you can't tell me one game that you've played that didn't have some type of similarity whether it's story, mechanic, yeah. wise to another game. We all well, let me, we all compare yeah. these other these games to each other whether they're MMOs, RPGs, sports games, they all the same shit. And, and let me sucks. tell you, that's why um, that's why the whole world of uh, indie, I think indie games are the one big saving grace to Xbox, just like how, um, and that comes along with Game Pass. Mm-hmm. Um, I really believe if it was not for Game Pass, I think Xbox would have took a serious doodle on itself. Yeah, I think I think like they, I think they did. I just think they it, it's well, it's Microsoft. They you know yeah they just. You know, they put some paper over it, and that was that was that. But yeah, um, I don't I think that. I, it just the sucks. dude shadow stepped out of my grenade. What? The guy shadow stepped out of my grenade. Oh yeah, that's what they do. God dang hunters! Damn hunters! I, I don't like them. But um, I didn't know he was a hunter. I thought he was a warlock the way he was dressed. But keep going. Um, I was saying. Uh, damn, I forgot what I was saying. Is that fast? No, you were t- my bad. You were talking about um we were talking about the Xbox and we were talking about Game Pass and how they already did craft themselves. Oh but, yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I think that they they um they 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 knew they they messed up. This is why they did so many things to to try to catch up and it was small it was small pieces it was piece by piece by piece to get to the point where they're at now but they the mm-hmm. one thing the one saving grace they could have did all of that with that system but had five Xbox exclusive great games that the world Eight. is going to play and it wouldn't have made it it would have made the difference to where somebody can say all right I may I may not have liked everything you've done but these games Imagine if PlayStation did what Xbox did, right? But gave yeah. you God of War, Oof. Uncharted Four, just them two games alone. Yeah. You would yeah. have been like, "Oh man, them, them great games." The X, but PlayStation exclusive, blah 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 blah. Came out with a Knack Two or a Knack Three or whatever Knack yeah. on, because that's you. You got to give something for that. You got to have something to the kids. You see what something I'm saying? For the kids. The, yeah. Those two games, right? Even just 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 comparing Call of Duty. Or not Call of Duty. Uh, what I say, Uncharted and Gears of Wars by themselves. Yes, those AAA titles, PlayStation exclusive games would have negated all of that shit. Yeah, you came out with a shitty system. It wasn't built for the gamer. It was built for it as an entertainment system. But we got God of War. But yeah, you see what I'm saying? You can overlook and, that. I don't think and, they've doing that. They've done that now. And for me, my my big, um, I agree with you. Um, the the console the console wasn't built for for game by like nope. gamers first. It was built to be a complete entertainment system. So now, and you can tell in the breakdown, like in the simple comparison, PlayStation is pretty analog. 
like in comparison like i feel like looking at when i look at my playstation menu and i i see bare bones essentials hey people here play here yeah. like it it, it it feels a little more bare bones mm -hmm. compared to xbox um my uh no nah, i'm getting too technical that's not what i want to talk about um the thing the thing that that gets me with xbox is they promised a lot and did not deliver in the form of exclusive games literally they had scale bound a game that i was excited for um but until i seen the the gameplay and i was like oh it, it it i was like eh, i don't think this is going to be anything they they really promising it's going to be mm -hmm. but and then they canceled it completely um i want to say it was a uh, deep silver i want to say but on the positive note and things that make me happy but only only reason i'm really worried is i haven't heard no announcements and of course it's not even 2020 yet so it's safe to it's safe to not have any announcements right now but my point is they bought a bunch of they bought a bunch of developers. Uh, remember at last E3, they announced the purchase of a crap ton of developers, a bunch of indie developers, yep, yep. Uh, and they really brought a lot of people into the Microsoft fold. Mm -hmm. Now for me, that's good. I'm down. I like it, but I just hope they don't pull a Jay Z Nas and shelve them. Like let people release stuff. Like we you know release it yeah they, they um see they've they've gotten to that point i think we're what well, we need to and this is my point i was going to say sorry to cut you off but uh, no, the reason why um i i do say a but because we just remember mm. we just made a point about what yeah. if it isn't what if this is technically a console pc you know mm. what if this device that they're selling us or they're showing us isn't just a console for you to play console video games. What if you can play PC games on it? What if yeah. it's a computer all in itself? We yeah. don't know. I mean, the, the the squared feature on there resembles. It the, looks like a gaming PC. Yeah, it looks like one They're of those um Alienware ones, those cubed ones. Yeah. The only difference is those ones had handles on it. You can hold it like that one. So you imagine they make this compact, sleek-looking device. That can play Xbox games, but not only that, it's a computer. You can run some yeah. Age of Empires on there off their computer. You can play with your Steam buddies. Imagine if they took that way, and man, it, 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 they would instantly win because now they've given people that option. You may not use it. You may it may not be as good as a gaming PC, but you have that option there. You can go and do it if you want to do it. Whereas with whereas with PlayStation Switch, all of these things, they are you gonna play a PlayStation CD in this, you yeah. know? So I'm I'm um, from the surface level, it is not look it's looking shaky, baby. But uh, yeah, you know, from a just Have speculating. You, did, you watch, did you watch the trailer for the um for the console? Yes, I did. I did okay, so I'm I'm actually doing a review. That's one of the videos I already did. Okay. I just need to render it and upload it. Get it um yeah so but one thing I noticed when they were you know how they were showing the whole world being built and rendered as it was growing and expanding I think that that's Halo Infinite. Oh yeah. I, like the it world that be. they were showing. Yeah, I just I when I heard when I first heard Halo Infinite, my first thought was oh it's going to be an open world Halo. You you got to you got to I I that is a great not even a guess. That's like the everyone should speculate that that's what it is. Yeah, it, I just really thought they were literally showing us because the if world. You, if you dig deeper into it, Bungie has allocated funds to other things. Bungie has mm -hmm. been hiring more people to do mm -hmm. other things. So mm -hmm. you it, know, Bungie I, I, Xbox has always been hand yeah. in hand. I it just, be. you know, I just don't want to get screwed over again because and and it, it sucks. I'm a, like you guys have heard in my podcast before. I'm a firm believer in you vote with your dollar. Mm -hmm. And I'm a 100 percent firm believer in that. You really do. Um, But the problem is and OK. Oh, God, I didn't even think about this. 
now you've added a whole new layer of gaming into your console, into your online experience. First, it was already an issue of, oh, I'm playing against somebody on Xbox One X Mm -hmm. on a 4K TV, and I'm running on an OG console. That's a problem. I mean, it's who knows if it's truly measurable, Mm -hmm. like if it's a giant problem. But the fact that there's such a spec difference that it's measurable means that it is that much of a difference. That naturally comes with it when you when you play when you're a PC gamer. Naturally, that's what it is. You, Dave, you can see it when you go to streams. And this yeah. person's playing on PC, and this other person's playing on PC. You can oh. see that, like for example, in Destiny, there's some parts in Destiny on PC that you need to turn your frame crap frame cap down because it's too. Wow. So, like for example, this guy was doing a glitch, and he was trying to. Um, his his YouTube channel is called Cami Cakes. I think he's the greatest Destiny player of all time. He's the most technical okay. sound Destiny player ever. He plays on PC. Well, he what he did was he created a free to a free account, a free to play Destiny account, and show okay. how people can get this game, which is free to play, and do everything in the game to be to eventually beat the game. And his version of being okay. in the game was unlocking the untitled, the un, uh, not the undying, the uh, unbroken title, which is the title for Crucible. Now, gotcha. I just painted that story to you. So he, one of the things he was trying to do was he was trying to get high level gear. Well, he figured out that um, on you can glitch into one of the raids from an area on. And what well, really? you can do it on yeah, you can glitch into a raid to get one of the free chests that's in the raid. They have like secret chests throughout raids sometimes. Got and you. there's a chest that you can go and get. Well, excuse me. What he did was he got to this certain part and he had to go into his settings and turn his frame crap all the way down because if he didn't and he continued to go and hit a loading screen. It'll shoot him way off trajectory from where he wanted to go. So if you're telling me that my PC, you have to turn settings down and up and mess with this, that, and the third in the settings to play this game. Imagine what some people have to do if they don't got, if they got like the best of the best. They buy all the new graphic cards. Once they release, they pre-order. If you pre-order graphics card, you're hardcore. You're a part yeah, of the elitist. It's a whole new level. <laughs> exactly. And that's, and that's my whole mind. That's the monster behind it. Mm-hmm. And, and this goes back to what I've discussed a million and a half times. The whole point of console gaming is to be plug and play. They are, are close, further and further pushing away from that. But it is. You, it, see how you just said that? Do you think yeah. that. Uh, I, I, um, I don't know how to say it. I think that's just the way of the world now. Like, I think that. Oh, progress. Yeah, I think that it, it's you're going to weed out the weak or the less fortunate, and I think that's no one's looking back. No one is looking back to say, "Well, these people who can't afford the new graphics cards won't," or these people who can't afford the new consoles. No one's looking back for that, and it does sure. suck, but. It what scares me about that is how many people you may lose in the gaming community, like gaming community as a whole, because of that. You know, some mm. people game on the bare minimum. Yeah. So if you telling me well, like, oh, well, ten, you know, myself. you know why? Because the internet around the nation in the U.S. is not that good. Mm-hmm. Where yeah, there's people who use crap. Like I got family who live on the res. Out in the middle of the desert, the middle of nowhere, and they have to utilize me, very minimal internet services. Mm-hmm. Like it, it's it's crazy, and like I mean, my cousin is literally talking about like, oh, I got to download a game and I'll I'll play it in a couple days. <laughs> yeah, I like can, like that. I've I can understand something like that. It's not it's never been days. Like what I would do is. Once I download, I would download the game. I couldn't play a game on PlayStation 3 when I lived uh, at my mom's. 
I couldn't play the yeah, game yeah. again the day it came out. I had to set it up to download, and I would play it the next day. So the game came out even when you got it early release. The game so you started downloading that night, and you I probably wouldn't yeah. play it until I got home from school the next gotcha. day. Which is it just but imagine doing that while paying bills. Yeah, like that's crazy. Ball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But knowing that that's a reality for people. Yeah. I, I'm not, mo see, I'm more so, I'm more so not even thinking about internet, which, because internet is a big part of it, a big part of it. I'm, I'm thinking of hardware. Like, imagine if we get to a point where, like, let's, let's keep it basic. Graphic. This oh, controller yeah. says I'm supposed to be better than you because of these two paddles right here. And I'm but, able to do I, something I, that... Okay nice controllers but keep going yeah so what, what i'm saying is you you have to do extra work to keep up with yeah. me but with this 100%. controller i do less work and you know obviously it's it's still you still have to have hand eye coordination you still have to have oh, yeah. game knowledge all of that stuff comes into play but if i give you this controller to ease some of the work up off of yourself and to give you a different perspective on how to play, it's supposed to be better. So imagine if the world just went like that. Hey, listen, you know, this PlayStation or this Xbox has the T89X 4000 fresh off the shelf in it. And the one you got now has the 960 from seven years ago. So yeah, yeah. you can't do, you can do it. It's just not gonna be as good as the T, the one fresh off the shelf, off the shelf. So you, you know, with especially with peripherals, look at mice, look at mice, look at keyboards, look at headphones, look at sound quality, all of that stuff. I cannot yeah. play. Imagine playing with earbuds. Some people, you playing with yeah. earbuds now? Okay. Imagine and if you had surround sound, ear headphone now, where you're here, now you can hear footsteps in certain directions all of that stuff plays a part and if you, and I, if they start to make things if they start to make things hey well if you want the new xbox you're going to get this elite controller you're going to get this xbox gold or playstation gold headphones with it it naturally the you're going to start to see some people are gonna, is, yeah you see what i'm saying so i i think we're going to that i don't think they're looking back i don't think they care I think the assumption is people are going to get it. If they want it, they'll go get it. And Very. we, no one has made a step to say we're not going to do it because this is bull, you know, crap. Yeah, Everybody's yeah, yeah. Everybody's just doing it. Everybody's getting it. Well, look, look, we're guilty of it too. Oh, yeah. Dude, oh, yeah. We're skeptical about the new system, but we're going to get it though. We're going to get it anyway. Um, And, and I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to write it off as a business expense, mm, but, no. um, <laughs> bro, hey, no, um, I just um hmm. I it's, I it's guess one, I get you know you know you know what it is what it truly is for me is I get butt hurt seeing console push harder and harder to be PC. That's that's really what it Man, that's my butt hurt. I'm gonna tell you that's why my true my true butt hurt behind that. Bro, I'm gonna tell you why it it just it's gonna happen. There's nothing we can do yeah. about that. Because yeah. when you watching when Ninja is come from console, play yeah. professional Halo, right? When he comes and he's doing the things he's doing on PC, the question always is, hey, what mouse is he using? Hey, what kind uh, of computer uh, does he have? Yeah. That's the question. Oh, the sales, listen, marketing man, behind it. Listen to it. Go into some of these streams, man. I see it every day. Hey, Bro, I've so, watched people set up like on their streams, on their panels. What am I using? Yeah, or even yeah. look, or the the question now. The question goes from that. So, say you're a streamer and you're watching this guy, and you've been following for a couple years, and you decide, hmm, I'm gonna try PC gaming. So you get yourself a PC and you start plugging it up. Then the question goes, Hey, what settings are you using? Uh -huh. Hey, what's your what's your sensitivity? Hey, uh -huh. that's how they get you. So if majority of the, which I don't think, I think console for, let's say gamers over the age. Okay. Gamers who stream and hardcore gamers who 
who are going to play, who follow everyday news and all of that, most of yeah. them have PCs. And most of them have PCs to game. Hell, you got a PC. You got a gaming laptop. I got a gaming laptop to play these PC games. So I think a lot of people are making their way to get PC games or PCs to play video games because that's what's become the norm. Look, Fortnite. You're frowned upon if you play Fortnite on console. You're, yeah. It's not the same. It isn't the same. Look at Apex Legends. Apex Legends was made by a console company. Yeah. Respawn, they made, uh, well, they were the people who made, inf- that were part of the Infinity War, people that sued Infinity War, got money. Then they came out and created, what was the name of that game? Um, with the suits, you could jump into the suits. Uh, Titanfall. Titanfall mm-hmm. 1 and 2. And mm-hmm. they made Apex Legends. Titanfall was very solid shooting. Mm-hmm. As oh, it was. Sleep. It was dope. It just didn't yeah. stick. Oh, they, did, they gave it out for they gave it out for um this month. Oh, and that's another thing. Oh shit. Game, look, I love I love Game Pass, but Game Pass has made Xbox lot um Xbox Gold lax on the games that they give out. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, well, you you got an Xbox Ultimate. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they added another, another tier. Game yeah, let me keep that. Which which I'm gonna be real. Xbox Ultimate, if you're if you play if you have an Xbox folks or you have a PC and you like some of the games that come through Microsoft, get you Xbox Plus mm-hmm. or uh, Ultimate. You're gonna get Xbox Live, you get Game Pass, um, and then I believe you get something else. And for me, that makes all the sense in the world. Like, are you kidding me? Like, are you serious? Sold. I was paying. It was costing me more to run both of them. Yeah. But I just, um, but really, I don't like the way they laxed up on the games that they give out. Like, I'm I'm butthurt about that. Yeah. I mean, naturally, it's going to happen. Yeah, like, I'm something's got to give. I'm not, I'm not crazy. I'm not stupid. Something's got to give. Yeah, they, they better. They better or there's going to be another losing season. Man. And they don't want to do that. No, nah, I mean, actually, you're gonna have your Xbox fanboys who, yeah, Xbox oh, forever for life. I know plenty but, of people that way. I'm not a fanboy about any of it. I'm a gamer. Yeah, like See, whatever's fun and whatever makes sense. I'm like the reason I got a PlayStation was for um, No Man's Sky. Mm-hmm. That's 100, percent 1,000 percent. The reason I bought my PlayStation for was I went out and pre-ordered No Man's Sky as soon as they announced it. And um, that's a whole nother topic in itself. Um, but I enjoy the game now where it's at. Yeah. Um, you know, it's really fun, really fun now. Um, but I just, you know. I... <sighs> Xbox got some yeah. work to do. I'm glad that yeah. we had this conversation because I would, I can't wait to see what PlayStation does. I can't mm-hmm. wait to see what Xbox has to announce because they're going to have to mm. announce something. You know, um, we're going into the new year and we're going to have to see what these developers are going to do. Like, you can't be working on a game coming out. Like, what makes more sense to come out with a game now? Like, if your game isn't ready now or if you know that your game isn't a longevity it's game. It's yeah. Like, okay. I hope I hope Ubisoft is pushing all their games back, because remember they delayed a bunch of their games. I yeah, want to say but, all. Their main titles. But I'm gonna tell you right now, Ubisoft should save one for the for the new one and put the rest yep. out because Ubisoft yep. games the longevity does not last. They do not. They you know what I'm saying? So look at uh, like you you gotta have that game or you gotta be you gotta be prepared to take advantage of it. Like if you're mm-hmm. gonna. Like, and this is just a sad feeling, but we we seen go through Rockstar do it. Rockstar did it, and it succeeded. We gonna put this hey, game out, and then y'all gonna buy yeah. it again. Y'all gonna buy you it know, again. Yeah, you know it's a trip. Um, I love seeing communities that a lot of gamers don't deal with, but it still thrives. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I watch my brother. I like the way he games. Yeah. He games. He games in a very pure way. He reminds me of like when I used to, uh, gaming as a kid back when I couldn't buy every game I wanted. Mm-hmm. 
he will play a game till it is dead. Yeah. Like the way we run Destiny, yeah. he will run. Yeah. Like he barely stopped playing um, Ghost Recon, Ghost Recon, the first yeah. uh, Wildlands, and now he's on to Breakpoint. He gets mad that I don't run it with him. And he will play it like, oh, there's a weapon over here I want. Like, he will play the game. And, like, I I really, I wish I still had that. That's actually something I'm working on. I know we're creeping in the last few minutes, which is crazy that we did a whole episode about Xbox. Oh, um, yeah, we really did an entire episode about Xbox. Mm-hmm. Um, and what's funny is I feel like we didn't really repeat ourselves either. It is it's it's nuts. The we, no, we, we repeated ourselves a bit. It's just more so I think we're I think both of us are frustrated enough. Cause it's it's almost like enough is enough. Like how many times you gonna come out with well this is your will be your second time, but how for how long are you gonna do the same thing? You know, give us something, say something that you're going to do this and then it yeah. doesn't plan out and then not only not take responsibility for it, but then do it again. Like you know, hey, real, real talk though. Like I know with my Nintendo Switch, I have one of the generations that are um hackable. Yeah. Like I know there was a couple that uh, there was a generation that came out where they like I don't know if they jailbroke it or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have one of the older ones, but then the sucky thing about that is my Joy Cons are dry lagging. Yeah. So I'm over here playing Stardew Valley with dry lag, right. which I'm working against. Like I'm all farming. My character is going up, and I'm like trying to move them down, but I'm too cheap to just go buy some new ones. Bruh. I told my wife I want that for Christmas, some Joy Cons. But, but my point is, I, I think I might wait a cycle, not a full like months, but I, I think I might wait until the initial rush is done with the first with the Xbox, mm-hmm. uh, Xbox Series X. One because I am kind of hesitant. I want to see what the Scarlet is. I want to see. What the uh, I for, keep forgetting the title of the the other one. Um, it has a weird name. Yeah. Uh, but I, so I don't want to get gypped there. But then also, um, I don't want to get hit with the major bugs. Like I remember with my 360, I was a day one guy. I had the red ring of death. Um, and even my OG Xbox, it's not the day one day one, but it was one of the first cycles that came. You know, the day one that said day one on it. Yeah. I don't have. One, but I have the one that came out with the first skews of it, and um, my battery pack is trash. That's the only reason I bought my Xbox One S. But here it oh, is. Yeah, I remember it us la- having that conversation. Yeah, it lasted this long, so I can't complain too much about it. If you can get seven years out of a battery pack that big, that's it. And of course, I didn't have it properly ventilated. You know, of course, I wasn't doing what I was supposed to with it. So for it to last like that, I can't complain too much. Of course, but. I just I would like to skip the bugs because I know they're gonna be there. Um, I hope not. I really do hope they have a perfect launch. I hope everything goes the way it's supposed to. I hope we have no errors. You know what I mean? Like I really do. I'm yeah. not I'm not pessimistic about it, but I'm not I'm a realist. Well, yeah, I mean you gotta go off a track record. Yeah. Like, like I really think about it, like play this is but this is why PlayStation kind of Really took over us because they learned from their mistakes. They and they really came out did. with games. And they came out with games. Yeah. So they not only did everything that people wanted because Xbox had, they came out with it, and then yep. gave you a shit ton of games to play. Then, oh well, you're gonna get on. Okay, well to do all of this, you gotta pay for online. All right, cool. I was doing it on Xbox. I'll do it now. Boom. Mm-hmm. Hey, yep. every month you get five free new games. And even gave you games on Vita and Man, on PlayStation yes. 3. They were throwing Vita games. And what's sad is I'm sad that they canceled that. Um but, I'm I'm really I'm a little hurt. Yeah. I think a lot of people were. But then I said to myself, like, I can't even tell you the last time I turned my PlayStation 3 on. <laughs> yeah. I would log in, just throw it in the chart, uh, the cart, and then log back off, and that's that. Like I got it though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I was going. I wasn't missing nothing for free. Mm-hmm. No. Well, nothing I paid for. It. Let's let's be real. Let's exactly. phrase it right. I'm not missing squat. But, but all right, man. Well, I think that's it for the day, dog. Yeah, that's, that's it, man. We did a whole episode of Xbox, man. A whole um, episode on Xbox. That is the title, right there. Right. Um. 
folks, make sure to subscribe to all our links, man. Um, we're gonna Please. set trap. We're gonna set T Jones up a a, a link tree account so yeah, everybody. I set one up. Um, I know it, people don't like extra steps, but I just like the idea of having everything in one place. It's pretty neat and professional looking. I just need a hug. Um, just just go ahead. One like, yeah. one hug. <laughs> yeah. Hey, no, for real. Like this video, man. Subscribe. Um, and then subscribe to our individual channels. I'm trying to reach a goal of 500 subscribers. Uh, that's something I'm working on right now. Get I'm my man 500 subscribers. Yeah, man. Baron J67 everywhere. I want you to find me. What about where they don't? Where you don't want them to find you? No, nah, that's all good. <laughs> if, I, if you find me under Baron J67, that means it was out there for you. He said, come again, say what? Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Oh, that's it for me. I was gonna play some yeah. Destiny, but I'm going to sleep. Oh, you ain't gonna run, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm on. I'm tired, dog. I'm on, man. We on, on, man. Oh yeah, I'll be ready tomorrow. New PlayStation, new me. Oh yeah, you gotta go hot. Mm -hmm. You about to go hot. Mm -hmm. Bro, I'm in. I'm in class right now, getting work. Oh, it's six on four. You better switch. It's really it. bad. You better, you better, you better rep for the squad, man. Rep. Hey, man. Rumbi. <laughs> Rumbi. League of Legends. <laughs> All right, man. We're babbling. Hey. Yep. Much love, folks, man. Really appreciate y'all. Send me out. Oh, Tone Def. Much love. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we know we shot him out. Tone, my guy. Appreciate we should, we got to run with him, too, man. Shoot, new season. Oh, yeah. Hey, I don't even be seeing him on, though. Yeah, he be doing his dirty. Hey, man, what's up, Tone? Yeah, tone, get on. What's up, Deep Tone? Life. <laughs> <laughs> he probably editing like 10 podcasts right Ooh, now. He probably on the, working. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, but much love, man. We off. All right. Peace. Peace.